Car Ontario. Thank you for staying in tune for another episode. Uh, today we're going to talk about a guitar I recently picked up, which is a 1956 limited edition Stratocaster in roasted ash. Should be possible. 19, uh, 1956 roasted ash, ash Strat, according to the label. According to the label. There you go. So beautiful. Oh, 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 beautiful oh, oh, tweed oh. case there. Yeah. Oh, the tweed. Very nice. So, check it out. Take it out right there. There you go. Look at that thing. So what I'll do, Caleb, if you want to get this in tune, I'll, I'll, read, I'll tell you what comes in the case. So, in the case right now, there's an envelope here. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's a wiring diagram. So it gives you vintage wiring, modern wiring, and the ability to go back and forth from Fender. The terminal adjustment, uh, facts and everything else, spacing and the requirements. Oh, comes with uh, additional terminal springs from Fender. Comes with this uh, unique patch cable, yeah, if you call it. A really thin strap, <laughs> old school. Uh, you got your little whammy bar. There you go. Uh, electronic parts kit. Oh, it comes with an additional switch. Oh. Unique, eh? Oh, that's probably the three-way switch, right? Yeah. Just switch it. That's the wiring diagram there. Yeah. Polishing cloth. And uh, is it lacquer finish? Nitrocellulose finish? Oh, probably information about the lacquer. Yeah. Yeah. How to take care of it. Shrinkage, instrument, chemical reactions, cleaning. Ah, uh, pretty neat. Oh, it comes with a tag. Do not expose to extreme temperatures to avoid finish damage. The quality musical instrument must be stored at a normal room temperature for 24 hours prior to opening. Wow, Inter interesting. Yeah, that's a decent amount of case candy there. That's uh, quite a bit. Nice yeah. case there. Got it all tuned up? I do, yeah. All right, let's pass this over here. Roasted ash body. Dude, let's do we'll do a cut there probably, right? Okay. And then so back here? Yeah. That's all I know. Okay. Roasted ash body. Yeah. That's all I got. I've got some up here. Okay, it's got a ma maple finger board with 7.25 inch radius. Uh, three American vintage 56 single coil strat pickups, a five-way selector switch, which I believe in the case comes with a three-way if I wanted to rewire it to a three-way. American Vintage Six Saddle Floating Vibrato Bridge and Tailpiece. 
a bone nut. I love saying the word bone nut. Uh, vintage style tuning machine, black anodized aluminum pick guard, and a chrome nickel plated steel hardware. Yeah, so the actual body itself is constructed out of ash, and it's this really nice roasted, kind of dried out looking ash. And you can see all the wood grain is super exposed. And before, actually, I didn't even know this was finished in nitro. I thought it was just kind of a natural, same, unfinished, but it must be a super, super thin layer of nitro. Because you can see all of that wood grain and all that beautiful texture going on. Um, the neck itself, uh, as expected, is made out of maple, but I believe this is also roasted maple, and it's got kind of a, a soft V neck, which is nice, because I, I, I don't like hard Vs, because they're a little too difficult to play, but um, it, it's a really nice kind of mixture between a C and a V, right? Now, if we're taking a look at the actual specs here, like Kevin stated, there's some interesting things going on, right? Now, firstly, as stated, the radius, the radius is more vintage styled, and these frets are actually kind of vintage frets. They're this more narrow, kind of shallow fret, which makes it an interesting guitar to play. And also, all of this hardware is anodized aluminum, which is really cool, especially on a 50s style guitar. You don't see that too often. Often you see just the standard one ply stuff. That's amazing. So you'll go through some tones? Yeah, let's do it. Let's check it out. So. I see, uh, I see my daughter peeking in. You want to hear some tones, sweetheart? Come, come on in. Say no. Caleb is going to jam some tunes. Let's see what this guitar can do. All right, let's check out the neck here. So we've got a nice, open-sounding, stratty neck pickup there. Now these are supposed to be voiced to be fifty-six pickups. I don't have a ton of experience with reels fifty strats. <laughs> But to me, it sounds pretty damn good. Sounds good. I think a Strat neck pickup might be one of my favorite pickups of all time. Because you got that really chiming, articulate thing, but then if you roll off the tone a little, you can get a little... I can, I can feel the, the resonance from yeah. the body. I think... Uh, Especially since there's barely any finish on here, and since they're both roasted, you really get this transfer of resonance, which is something that you really only feel on like super old vintage guitars. It's it's pretty incredible the, uh, the resonance. Like you can feel all the way back here and up to the headstock. Everything is just shaking. It's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, let's take a look at the fourth position here. As expected, gets real funky. Also sounds nice for kind of like blues leads. And also like indie parts where you make it kind of like uh really articulate and shiny. Alright, let's go to that middle. Middle. All that snap that you want out of a strat sounds really great, really nice and clear. But it's not too thin, it still has some kind of thickness and depth to that tone. Alright, let's go back here. Second position. Again, similar to fourth position, but it's got a little bit more definition and articulation going on there. Just, I think, a result of that bridge pickup, but very nice. Again, great for the rhythmic, kind of funky stuff. Okay, let's go back to this bridge. Definitely great, it's got some twang going on there, right? Nice and bright. Let's see. Yeah, and we do actually have a tone. So sometimes 
you get strats which is wired traditionally. <laughs> <laughs> it's wired traditionally where you don't have a tone for the bridge picking, which is how they originally wired them to the best of my knowledge. But this one has some modified wiring, so you actually do get a, a tone for your bridge, which is useful for taping some of those highs. So you can get a little... Not as ear-piercing sometimes, but you still have the option of doing it, right? But this is really nice, kind of full-sounding, but still bright and twangy. Bridge pickup going on there. I, I just don't understand why it was so limited. I think it's a beautiful piece. The, the resonance is yeah. just, it's like like really vintage. You can you feel it when you play it. It's just it's so much. It's different. a pretty remarkable Stratocaster, honestly. Like it feels very different than most Americans, most standard issue Americans. I think most of it is a result of that, like um, the finish. It's just a lack of finish on it, which really lets the wood resonate, um, and also just the fact that they're both roasted. I feel like that. Dry, the, this, like the dried out wood because of the roasting. Exactly. Yeah, it feels it's... like uh, kind of like an old SG. Um, it really reminds me of an old SG because it just feels like the neck and the body. It almost doesn't feel like a bolt-on. It feels like a solid glued-in set neck because everything just resonates as one piece. But also, I mean, the aluminum hardware is just cool, right? It, it is cool. I don't think I've ever seen another black because usually you see the gold ones on like old yeah. jazz masters and stuff. But I've never seen... The black one. And the high, and the high uh, white, like the knobs and the pickups, even the way I'm It's part. a sharp looking guitar. You see, my suspicion, I think someone at Fender saw an old 50 Strat that somebody stripped the finish off of and put like a funky pickguard on and they wanted to copy it. So I think that's what this guitar is a result of. It's, that's my, it's my hunch, but you know, it is, it's, it's a cool guitar, man. It's, it's a very cool guitar. And with all the case candy and being able to rewire it to a three-way switch and additional springs, I think it's uh it's very versatile. Absolutely. Yeah, this is one hell of a strat. Uh, are you going to uh, sample any polka music? <laughs> <laughs> Keep that, okay. <laughs> there you go. Versatility. I just, like I said, I don't understand why it was such a limited piece. And I was able to pick this up from... Uh, Walter's Music out of Mississauga, Ontario, which uh, Walter has closed after almost 45 years in business. Uh, I believe he's retiring. I don't remember how much this guitar was. Um, I, I did buy it. It was just in storage. We just pulled it out. But I think on Reverb, you were looking. Yeah. And it was what, around 2700 right Somewhere now? around there. I think it's high, high twos, low threes, maybe. I, you know what? It is. If you have an opportunity to try this out, I mean... Out of all the guitars in this room, it is unique with the, the way it vibrates in your hand. Yeah, it might be one of the most resonant strats that I've ever played, uh, which is saying a lot considering it's a modern production, right? This is a, a pretty incredible... It's not a custom shop, too. It's just a standard... Well, it's a limited run, but it's still an American guitar, just a standard production American, so... Um, yeah, it's an excellent, excellent Stratocaster. I think it's... One that could serve you through any genre, any uh, any era, right? Timeless. <laughs> oh, for sure. I, I think I'm going to probably bring one of... This actually... This model up to one of the open mics to have somebody else try it out, yeah, like man. you know, in a real production environment, music environment. Yeah. But any which way, thank you uh, for joining in today. Caleb's gonna, how should I say, jam us out? Sure. <laughs>